is a beautiful question. It's a GMAT problem solving practice question in combinatorix permutation combination. Right. We'll solve this question and after completing this question, I have a bonus question for you toward the end. Right. I've just added one word to this question and that becomes an even better question than what we have here. We'll solve this question, use this framework and see whether you can solve that question that requires some more concepts over and about what we will be dealing with in solving this question. Post your answers to the bonus question in the comments box. Let's get started with the question given to us right now. There are six boxes numbered one to six. Wonderful. This is a long sentence. I'm going to read it. We'll make sense out of it after having read it once. Each box is to be filled either with a red or a green ball in such a way that at least one box contains a green ball and the boxes containing green balls are consecutively numbered. Okay. okay. We have six boxes with us. One, two, three, four, five, six. They are numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to place either one green or one red ball in each of these boxes. The condition being that we need to place at least one green ball in these boxes, right? So only one green ball, two, three, four, five, six can be red, one can be green. Six can be green, one, two, three, four, five can be red. At least one of these boxes needs to have a green ball. If you're placing two boxes containing green balls, right? In that case, the condition is the boxes containing the green balls need to be consecutively numbered. So let's say if you have two boxes containing green, it should be one, two, it can be four, five, it can be three, four, it cannot be two, one, five. That's a constraint they're mentioning. Let's get started. Let's start with the easiest case, right? At least one box needs to have green ball. We'll just say only one box contains green ball, right? I'm not saying this is all that is. This is one such possibilities. We'll call it as case one. One box has green ball. So how many possibilities? It could be box number one or two or three or four or five or six. There are six possibilities. So six ways in which one box can contain green ball. We have no other option but to list it down and get it, right? So two boxes contain, two boxes have green balls, okay? This is a little more interesting. You can't say that I'm going to do a 6C2. 6C2 is picking any two boxes out of six. So it could be the first and the fifth box. It could be the second and the sixth box. It could be the fourth and the sixth box. Those all will not meet our criteria. So if you're trying to do a 6C2, 6C2 is incorrect here because that picks randomly any two out of the six. We want two consecutive ones to appear. So what are the consecutive ones which are possible? Let's list them down again. One, two is a consecutive possibility. Two, three is a consecutive possibility. Three, four is a consecutive possibility. Four, five is a consecutive possibility. Five, six is a consecutive possibility. That's it, nothing else possible. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Five such possibilities exist. Two boxes containing green balls and both those boxes need to be consecutively numbered. Now, can three boxes have green balls? Yes, three boxes have green balls. What are the possibilities? Consecutively numbered. It's not 63 again, right? One, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, Anything else possible? Yes, four, five, six. These are all the consecutively numbered ones. So three boxes contain green balls and the boxes need to be consecutively numbered. Four such possibilities exist. Four boxes, right? What would those be? One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. And then three, four, five, six. So that is three such possibilities. You can extrapolate and finish it off. I'll just number it down and finish it, right? So essentially for five boxes containing green balls, one, two, three, four, five is one such possibility. And two, three, four, five, six is another possibility. So two such cases exist. Lastly, all six boxes contain green. That's only one possibility. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? They're consecutively numbered, one such possibility. So how many total outcomes? It could start from anything from one box containing green all the way up to six boxes containing green. So we had for one box, it was six, two boxes, five, four, three, two, one. So it's a sum of one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six, right? This is for one box containing green all the way here to the left, all six boxes containing green. So sum of first six natural numbers, which is essentially six into seven divided by two, which is 21, or add it up, three, six, 10, 15, 21, 21 outcomes in which at least one box will contain a green ball and boxes containing green balls will be consecutively numbered. 21 is answer option B, right? I promised you a bonus question. The question remains more or less same. I'm just adding this, not. 
There are six boxes numbered one to six. Each box is filled up with either a red or a green ball in such a way that at least one box contains a green ball. And the boxes containing green balls are not consecutively numbered. Right? You can't have two and three as green. You can't have one, two, three as green. You need to have at least one red ball in between any two green balls is what this question is all about. The number of ways in which this can be done, the answer options are obviously slightly different, right? I've got five answer options. Take a look at this. You can pause the video here. Try this question. Post your answers. Post the way you've solved this question, your approach, everything in the comments box, right? If you have any queries about how to solve it, if you're not able to get the answer, you can post that also in the comments box. We'll help you out to solve this question. Best wishes.